Click subscribe to get latest news and don't forget to press the bell icon. In case you missed it, some major companies who had no problem sponsoring the 2012 GOP convention when a career politician was the nominee pulled out of the last contest. Perhaps it's time we boycotted these companies as well. Wells Fargo, JP Morgan Chase, UPS, Motorola, Ford and Walgreens all decided not to participate in the GOP's Cleveland convention last year when Trump was the nominee, for the Hill.com. Naturally, none of these companies would comment on whether it was because of Donald Trump himself they decided to back out. If that is the case, it's a tad bit ironic, considering they are trying to avoid offending people. They just offended millions of Trump supporters instead. Donald Trump regularly cites Ford in his stump speech because it is one such company which has taken advantage of NAFTA and the other poor trade deals of the Clinton administration. Wells Fargo made a purely cynical business decision, and to put it bluntly they are coming off as every bit as much of a politician as Hillary Clinton when they tell us they will not support the GOP convention but they will be at the Democratic one in Philadelphia because of their large market share there. Perhaps if a bunch of Philadelphia Trump supporters pulled their accounts from Wells Fargo it might make a large difference to them, don't you think? Much like the Montgomery bus boycott in the days of Martin Luther King, boycotts can still be effective. Now, if you decide to boycott these companies, there are a number of steps you should take. First of all, you should do your research. In the case of the large banks such as J.P. Morgan Chase or Wells Fargo, the obvious first step would be to no longer do business there. However, you also should look at what these companies control and then refuse to do business at any of their interests as well. Moreover, consider picking a company where its reputation is already waning. Ford has come under criticism from a number of other people for its greedy decision to ship jobs overseas, so Ford is an obvious target. These companies, either directly or in a passive-aggressive manner, have decided to boycott Trump. Since we all desire to make America great again, it is definitely time we boycotted them.